www.bigwell.com When I say Loch Ness, you might immediately think of this photograph. The Loch Ness Monster. A hoax. When the hoaxer Christian Sperling was on his deathbed in 1994, he confessed the fakery. Anyway, that was in 1933. Today, 2021, the YouTube channel Richard Outdoors. A travel channel. He uploads very adventurous, beautiful, wild camping type of videos. One day, a video appeared on his great channel going on a canoe trip at the infamous Loch Ness Lake. At the timestamp, 3 minutes and 57 seconds, you see a drone footage. Suddenly a thing with equations of the Loch Ness Monster appears. I will put a link to the video in the video description. In the video you see an animal with a very long neck. It's not moving at all or anything like that. It just flows there in the water. Like an unlucky dragon. Depressed Loch Ness. I'm not saying the video is fake, but I have to introduce you to the red flags. Let me start with, can I recreate this? The answer is, yes, I can recreate this in 15 minutes. I just imported the footage into After Effects. Then I googled for the top view of the Plesiosaurus. Roar. And after 15 minutes of tweaking, this is the result. Please pay attention. Just because I can recreate it doesn't mean it's proof that this video is fake. It just proves that I can produce this digitally. But still, I have question marks. When I have questions, that means I'm not convinced. The first question is why am I only seeing a short snippet? It doesn't make sense to make a drone shot of the beach as short as rigid outdoors footage. Of course, there's more video material. A drone recording consists of long recordings. The video creator cut out the suitable piece for his video project. That's how it works. I don't think he's going to throw the discovery of the century in the bin. 2. Why isn't there a second post on his channel with the full video? This is the discovery of the century and you're not doing a sequel. Knowing that you have more video material. The golden question is, what happened after the cut? When you do this with a murder case, you are immediately a suspect. Number 3. Why is camping stove more important than the monster on camera? He publishes a new video. He pays no attention to the discovery of the century. 4. Why is he looking up tabloids, but not spending time on his discovery of the century on his channel? He knows he owns his followers with an explanation, right? But maybe someone else tipped his video to tabloids. 5. Why did he disable the comment section of the infamous video? All his other videos and his new video you can comment, except his cornerstone video, the most important video of his channel with almost a million views. I have listed 5 red flags and all those questions push you to one word. Importance. All questions shows that the discovery of the century is absolutely not important to him. Hmm. Again, I'm not saying this is a hoax, nor am I proving that this is a hoax. But my questions are very well founded. The history of the Loch Ness Monster is quite interesting. The Loch Ness Monster became world famous when in 1933, Christian Spurling decided to create a monster with a long neck made of plastic and wood covered in grey paint. Motive? Just an act of revenge for being ridiculed for mistaking umbrella stand prints with hippo's footprints. Whoops. Throughout the century, a series of Loch Ness monster claims were made, and all of which turn out to be hoaxes. Is this also a hoax? Question: Do you believe he recorded the Loch Ness monster on camera? Do you think this is maybe a publicity stunt? What question would you like to ask him? Write down your thoughts in the comment section below. Share this video on social media to support me. Subscribe to this channel if this video appealed to you. Thanks for your time and I'll see you tomorrow at 8pm Central European time.